Now, Turkmenistan's president has ordered the extinguishment of the country's gateway to hell, a fire that has been burning for several decades in a huge desert gas crater. Reports say two sections of Africa of the continent have started to move apart. It's one of the largest rifts in the world. Underneath our ground, the earth holds scary secrets, holes wider than you can imagine, spread across the world. From massive valleys to giant sinkholes, the earth shows us a landscape of size and mystery. Imagine standing at the edge of a massive sinkhole, its yawning mouth stretching wide enough to swallow the solid ground as a whole. But how did these unimaginable cracks come to be? So, join us as we unravel the widest cracks beneath the earth that will shock you. The pit of hell. Imagine standing on the edge of a huge and scary hole so deep and scary that it's called the pit of hell. But this isn't from a storybook. It's a real place on Earth that challenges what we know about our planet. Welcome to Darvaza, a gas crater in Turkmenistan. That's been burning for decades in a huge desert crater, nicknamed the Gateway to Hell. It looks more like a place from a science fiction movie than a natural spot. The story starts in 1971 when Soviet scientists were drilling for natural gas. They made a big mistake and the ground collapsed, making a massive hole about 70 meters wide. They were worried that poisonous gas might escape, so they decided to set it on fire, hoping it would burn out quickly. But they were wrong. The fire they started has been burning for over 50 years now. The crater is in the Karakum Desert, and it lights up the night sky with its fiery glow. The heat it gives off is so strong that you can feel it even from far away. It's mesmerizing to look at, which is why locals call it the door to hell. But beyond its scary appearance, the Darvaza gas crater is interesting for scientists. It gives them a special chance to see what happens when natural gas burns for a long time. Scientists from all over the world wearing special suits to protect themselves from the heat have gone to study the gases and soil around the crater. It was very challenging. Um, I was uh, the expedition leader on a project uh, that was assigned to go here and gather soil samples from the bottom of this burning pit of methane gas. What they learn helps us understand more about natural gas fields and what happens when gas leaks into the environment. Rift in Eastern Africa. In East Africa, there's a big geological event going on right now. It's an important process that's slowly splitting a huge piece of land into two parts. This event is called the East African Rift, and it's one of the most active rift systems in the world. The map of our world is about to change. I'm talking about the continent of Africa splitting into two. An entirely new ocean could emerge in the African continent. And this change is associated with the East African Rift System. Picture it stretching over 3,000 miles from the Jordan Valley in the Middle East to Mozambique in the South. But this isn't just a crack in the ground. It's like a giant gap that's getting bigger and bigger. And it's not happening overnight. It's taking millions of years. What's special about the East African Rift is that it's an active divergent tectonic plate boundary. The African continent is gradually breaking apart. Over a long time, two plates, the Somali Plate and the Nubian Plate, have moved away from each other, creating this huge rift valley. This powerful process is reshaping the Earth's surface in big ways. Scientists think that in about 10 million years, this rift will split the African continent into two and form a new ocean. It's like nature is playing a slow-motion game of tug-of-war with the land. The movement of these tectonic plates also brings up hot magma from deep within the Earth, leading to lots of volcanic eruptions. And these eruptions create stunning landscapes like the Ethiopian highlands. So, imagine standing in East Africa, looking out at the vastness of the land. It's not just a static scene. It's like watching the Earth shift and change over millions of years. All of this action, from the rift splitting to the volcanoes erupting, shapes not just the land, but also the ecosystems that call this region home. The Red Cloak Rift. In the hot and cold land where nature shows its stunning beauty, a big crack feels like a door to another world. A huge crack on Snefelsne Peninsula in Iceland, where stories echo and nature's strength is on full display. When you approach it, you can't help but be amazed by its size. It's not just a small crack. It's a massive split in a mountain. This crack is part of a sleeping volcano system formed by strong movements and volcanic activities that have been shaping Iceland for thousands of years. It's like a big mark from the Earth's constant changes, but it is more than just a wonder of geology. It's steeped in Icelandic stories. As you enter the crack, you can almost hear whispers of old stories passed down through generations. The 
journey inside is an adventure, with a narrow path leading to the heart of the crack. Sunlight struggles to get through the walls, which are covered in moss and lichen, creating a strange and otherworldly atmosphere. Water drips from above, forming a natural sound that adds to the experience. It's like walking through a natural cathedral, with echoes of footsteps inside. The area surrounding it is rich in wildlife, with seabird colonies nesting along the cliffs and seals basking on the shores. In the summer months, the peninsula comes alive with colorful wildflowers blooming across the meadows, contrasting with the rugged volcanic terrain. It's a paradise for outdoor enthusiasts, with hiking trails leading to stunning viewpoints overlooking the crack and the surrounding coastline. The Kumbu Icefall Settled high in the tall Himalayas, on the way to the top of Mount Everest, lies a place of both big danger and stunning beauty, the Kumbu Icefall. This always changing river of ice is full of deep cracks that could swallow large buildings and tall ice structures prone to sudden collapse. It's a big challenge even for experienced climbers, but its attraction pulls adventurers from all over the world. Sitting at the top of the Kumbu Glacier, just below Everest's western CWM, the icefall forms as the glacier comes down from the tall Himalayan peaks. Its slow movement, around 0.5 to 1 meter per day, creates a landscape that is always changing, with stunning yet dangerous ice formations. One of the icefall's most obvious features is its deep cracks, sometimes hidden under thin layers of snow, making them dangerous for climbers to navigate. To cross this risky terrain, climbers depend on ladders and ropes placed by experienced Sherpas, known as the Icefall Doctors. These brave people continuously adjust to the moving ice, regularly changing the route to make sure climbers can pass safely. The Kumbu Icefall isn't just a frozen obstacle course, it's a changing environment shaped by the powerful forces of nature. Every year, it goes through changes as the glacier moves and melts, creating new challenges for those who dare to cross it. Despite its dangers, the Icefall has a strong attraction for adventurers. Its sheer beauty, combined with the excitement of overcoming such a tough obstacle, attracts climbers from all over the world. The Valley of the Mills Located in the pretty southern Italy is Val di Molini, the Valley of the Mills. It's a special place with a very interesting history that goes back over 35,000 years, when volcanic activity from Mount Vesuvius and Campi Flegrai shaped its rough landscape. Over time, a small but steady stream carved its way through the deep gorge, adding to the valley's unique features. In the early 20th century, the valley was busy with industrial activity. Mills powered by steam were active as they processed wheat and other goods. These mills were important to the local economy, representing a time when human creativity relied on natural resources like flowing water and steam power. But as technology improved and industrial methods changed, the mills were eventually abandoned and left to be taken over by nature. Today, Val di Molini is a nice and beautiful spot where the leftovers of human activity peacefully exist with the surrounding natural environment. Visitors to Val di Molini can see a surreal landscape decorated with ivy and moss-covered stone walls, showing the passage of time and the power of nature to reclaim human-made structures. Walking through the valley, you can't help but notice the difference between the old mills and the enduring beauty of the surrounding nature. As you explore the paths that wind down into the valley, you can witness the interesting interaction between the leftovers of ancient industry and the peace of the natural world. It's a haunting yet beautiful experience, giving you a glimpse into a past era when humanity's survival was closely connected to the rhythms of nature. As you wander through Val di Molini, you can't help but admire the strength of nature and the cleverness of those who once lived in this valley. Rio Grande Split Spanning from Colorado to New Mexico in the southwestern part of the United States, there's a remarkable geological feature called the Rio Grande Rift. Unlike many other well-known splits around the world, this one isn't hidden away in some remote area. Instead, it cuts through a region filled with cities and towns, stretching about 700 kilometers long and varying in width. This makes it one of the most notable geological features in North America. The Rio Grande Rift is a large and still active area where the Earth's crust is slowly pulling apart. This process began about 30 million years ago and has led to the creation of basins and mountain ranges, shaping the unique landscape of the region. As you explore the area, you'll see signs of this ongoing separation in the dramatic landscapes, from the tall peaks of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains to the deep gorge of the Rio Grande River. 
Today, the rift continues to shape the landscape, forming the beautiful Rio Grande Valley and affecting the region's water sources. The Rio Grande River, which flows through the rift, is important for supporting various ecosystems and communities. Additionally, the geological activity underground has created natural hot springs, impressive volcanic formations, and diverse ecosystems. The Rio Grande Rift is a dynamic and always changing landscape, giving us a glimpse into the Earth's geological past and the forces that shape our planet. Whether you're enjoying its beautiful views or learning about its rich cultural history, the Rio Grande Rift never fails to capture our attention and inspire wonder. Thor's Well in Oregon In Oregon's rugged and beautiful coastline, there's a natural wonder that seems to go against nature's rules, the Thor's Well, or the drain pipe of the Pacific. It's a fascinating hole in the ocean that seems to swallow the surrounding sea in a never-ending cycle. Despite being a bit scary, Thor's Well attracts photographers and adventurers from around the world, offering an interesting sight that's both breathtaking and dangerous. Found near Cape Perpetua, Thor's Well is thought to be a collapsed sea cave shaped by the constant force of ocean waves dropping about 20 feet deep. This natural hole can be risky, especially during high tide or storms, when the water violently surges, shooting up before falling back into the seemingly endless hole. What makes Thor's Well special is how it interacts with the ocean. When the tide is right, water rushes into the hole from below, filling it up before bursting out in a dramatic spray. Then, the water goes back into the hole, creating a rhythmic cycle that's both beautiful and awe-inspiring. Apart from its stunning look, Thor's Well is also interesting for its geology and ecology. The area around it is full of different sea creatures adapted to the rough conditions caused by the well's surges. Seabirds like cormorants and gulls often fly around, taking advantage of the winds created by the rushing water. Besides its geological and ecological importance, it represents Oregon's wild coastline and the beauty of the Pacific Ocean. For many years, it has inspired artists, writers, and photographers who want to capture its essence and share it with others. The Real Foot Lake Located in the northwest corner of Tennessee among rolling hills is Real Foot Lake, Unlike most lakes formed by glaciers or rivers, this one has a unique origin story linked to a series of strong earthquakes in American history. During the winter of 1811 to 1812, the central Mississippi River Valley experienced huge earthquakes, some as powerful as magnitude 8.0. Though the epicenter was near New Madrid, Missouri, the tremors were felt as far away as New York City and Boston. These earthquakes dramatically changed the landscape, Land moved in waves, rivers altered their paths, and new waterfalls appeared. However, one of the most notable changes was the formation of Real Foot Lake. The seismic activity caused the Mississippi River to move, flooding a wooded area and creating the lake. Today, in some parts of the lake, you can still see the spooky remains of trees submerged by the sudden rush of water, a silent sign of the lake's turbulent beginnings. Real Foot Lake now covers about 15,000 acres, has an average depth of around 5.5 feet, making it one of the shallowest lakes in Tennessee. Despite its violent beginnings, the lake has become a thriving ecosystem and a wildlife sanctuary. Its wetlands and shores provide a home for a variety of birds, fish, and other animals. Exploring Real Foot Lake offers a peaceful experience. Cypress trees covered in Spanish moss line the shore, and the water sparkles calmly. Whether you're boating across the lake or walking along the shore, it's difficult not to admire the difference between the lake's peaceful beauty and its violent past. Tater Hills in Arizona Back in 2017, the Arizona Geological Survey found a huge crack in the ground, stretching almost two miles. This discovery marked it as the longest crack in the area, which was quite a big deal. To learn more about it, scientists used drones to take a safe look at this long crack, giving them valuable information on how it formed. These kinds of cracks started showing up in the Arizona desert in the early 1900s because people were taking too much water from underground, which made the ground sink and cracks form. These cracks were first seen in 1977, and now there are about 11 miles of them in the area. But these cracks didn't just pop up overnight. This particular crack probably started forming in either 2013 or 2014, with something big happening a few years later to make it show up. These interesting cracks are hidden in the rugged landscapes near Mono Lake in California's eastern Sierra. They make a maze of cracks and fractures that make you think about ancient volcanic and vast forces that have shaped the Earth's surface in this active part of the world. What's neat about these cracks is where they come from. 
Unlike other cracks, these weren't made because there wasn't enough water. Instead, their story is much hotter, literally. These cracks have volcanic origins. They go back to an underwater explosion that happened around 13,000 years ago when Mono Lake had way more water. During this explosion, stuff got thrown out and spread under the lake's water. Also, chemical reactions with the hot water stuck a lot of the thrown out stuff together, making a solid surface. Pressure from below kept building up, making the solid surface swell and eventually crack. They have almost straight sides and can be more than 50 feet deep and about 10 feet wide. They're usually narrower, but some are wide enough for a person to walk in. However, getting to the bottom of some of them might need special gear. Mato Crack in Mexico On August 16, 2014, in Moco, northwest Mexico, a drone with cameras took captivating pictures. They showed a strange crack in the ground, which seemed to appear suddenly. This crack was 16 feet wide and 25 feet deep. It caused big problems for the nearby farmland and a crucial road called Highway 26. This road connects Moco to the rest of Mexico. The crack was near a town called Mato, Mexico. It was really surprising because the desert suddenly had clean, straight walls and a deep hole in the ground. People were amazed by this crack. It looked like something big had happened underground. News reports from El Diario de Chihuahua and Alerta Mundial Info talked about it. The civil protection officials in Genez got calls from residents who saw the crack. They found out about it from people in Laguna Ido, who told the authorities right away. Experts went to check it out, but they didn't see any immediate danger. They couldn't figure out why the crack appeared so suddenly. Geologists from the University of Sonora nearby had an idea about what caused the crack. They thought that taking too much water from the ground for farming might be the reason. Water from underground is important for watering crops, especially in dry places. Farmers dig into the ground to get water for their fields. Taking out so much water might make the ground dry up and crack. When geologists see holes or cracks, they often think about groundwater, which is used a lot in farming. If too much water is taken out, or the water level drops, the ground can collapse and make cracks. NASA scientists also worry about this happening in other places, not just in Mexico. Groundwater loss doesn't mean all the water is gone. Even a little less water can cause problems. At the bottom of the crack, there was evidence of water flowing. This shows that the problem might keep happening. If the crack is because of farming, it might get worse and wider. Palu City Sinkhole Palu City, nestled in the heart of Indonesia, sits in a place where beautiful nature lives alongside the danger of disasters. It's in a long and narrow valley, witnessing the immense power of the Earth's movements. In 2018, a huge earthquake and tsunami hit Palu City, grabbing global attention. This event wasn't just shaking the ground with its strength, but also caused something unusual called liquefaction, turning solid ground into a liquid swallowing buildings and changing the landscape drastically. Liquefaction during earthquakes is like watching the ground we walk on become fluid, caused by strong shaking in areas with loose, wet soil. This disaster serves as a stark reminder of the powerful forces hiding beneath the Earth's surface and the risks of living in such a geologically active area. But why does this happen? It's because of the unique tectonics of the region. The island of Swoy experiences complex movements due to the interaction of tiny tectonic plates, especially along the Paloro Fault, which moves horizontally, causing major earthquakes as built-up stress suddenly releases. The landscape of mountains, valleys, and faults in Palu City tells a story of constant change, shaped by the deep forces within the Earth. This dynamic interaction of geological forces creates a fascinating tale of the ever-changing natural world. The Motagua Rift In the beautiful landscapes of Guatemala, located in the center of Central America, lies an impressive geological feature, the Motagua Fault. This site shows how the Earth moves and changes over time. Think of a fault as a crack in the Earth's surface, like a gap between two big rocks. These cracks let the rocks move, sometimes fast during earthquakes or slowly over many years. Faults can be small, just a few millimeters long, or go on for thousands of kilometers. During an earthquake, one side of the rock suddenly slides against the other, making different types of fault surfaces, like flat, up and down, or slanted. The Motagua Fault is an important line where the North American and Caribbean tectonic plates meet. It goes for about 300 kilometers and cuts across Guatemala's pretty landscape. This fault is called a strike-slip fault, where the land on each side moves sideways during earthquakes. One big event on the Motagua Fault 
was a really bad earthquake in 1976, which killed a lot of people and left thousands homeless. But the Motagua Fault is more than just a place where earthquakes happen. Over millions of years, it has changed the land, making valleys, hills, hot springs, and places where minerals are found. For people who like rocks or nature, there are lots of things to see and do around the fault. But for people who live nearby, life near the Motagua Fault is a balance between good things and bad things. The rich soil and minerals from the fault help farming and industry, but there's always the danger of earthquakes. People in this area have learned to be ready by building strong buildings and having plans for emergencies. It's like a big picture that teaches us about how humans and nature interact. The Bighorn Fracture. In 2015, something remarkable happened on a ranch near the Bighorn Mountains. A huge crack, the gash, suddenly appeared, surprising a group of experienced guides who were there for their annual hunting trip. This crack was as long as six football fields and raised many questions. Concerned about what caused it, the guides sought the help of an engineer. They discovered that the crack formed because the rock underneath became soaked with water, causing the land to shift suddenly. Surprisingly, there was no earthquake involved. This kind of event is not uncommon in Wyoming, according to geologist Tom Dre. Usually, these shifts are minor and harmless, but this one was particularly large. Luckily, the crack appeared in an area with no people around, so no one was hurt. However, it made people wonder, what if a similar crack appeared in a more populated area, like Utah, Arizona, or California? In those places, excessive groundwater extraction is causing similar cracks to form regularly. Some are long, stretching for miles, while others are smaller. Most of these cracks appear in deserts, but they can be unpredictable and dangerous to towns nearby. Geologists blame the excessive extraction of groundwater, which means taking out more water than the Earth can replace. This leaves the ground very dry and prone to splitting open unexpectedly. Since 2002, Arizona has been keeping a close eye on this problem. Shockingly, they found that about 169 miles of these cracks have formed within the state's borders alone. The Antarctica Fault. A huge chunk of ice has broken off from Antarctica's brunt ice shelf, letting go after holding on for years. Scientists think the new iceberg is about 1,550 square kilometers big, which is as big as Greater London, or five times the size of Malta. The Brunt Ice Shelf is by the coast and the Weddell Sea part of Antarctica, watched closely by scientists over time. This new iceberg, called A81, started forming when a big crack, called Chasm 1, got longer towards the north, finally breaking off the western part of the ice shelf. It was only a matter of time before it met the Halloween crack, first seen on Halloween, as ice from glaciers moved from land to sea. The edges far from the shore get thinner, facing storms and tides, getting weaker. They melt from the top or bottom, becoming more fragile. It's like the ice is stressed, and because it's already thin, it's more likely to crack and break. So, as this icy journey continues, those far-off areas on the edge are like weak spots that might just break under nature's forces. After keeping a close eye on it for years, we've finally seen the western part of the Brunt Ice Shelf break off as Iceberg A81. Regular watching from satellites, especially the European Space Agency's Sentinel-1 mission with radar, gives us day and night views, giving us great insights into faraway events. The British Antarctic Survey's Halley 6 Research Station, where scientists closely watched the ice shelf, moved to a safer spot in 2017 when the ice shelf's stability was at risk. Surprisingly, the station stayed safe during the iceberg breaking. It's currently run by 21 people and keeps going through winter, about 20 kilometers from where the ice broke. Using Sentinel satellites and various measurements, the British Antarctic Survey has kept the Halley base safe. In February 2021, another big iceberg broke off from the northern part of the Brunt Ice Shelf, drifting away into the Weddell Sea. Iceberg breaking can speed up the flow of ice from the shelf. The faster flow of the Brunt Ice Shelf might affect other cracks in the area, this recent event, Iceberg A81 breaking off, brings our focus back to the Halloween crack. If this crack gets longer, it could make the remaining eastern part of the Brunt Ice Shelf less stable. The Vertigo Rift Valley Alphacia showcases how the ground we stand on moves and changes. It's like a visual story of the Earth shifting and stretching. Right there, the North American Plate and the Eurasian Plate are slowly pulling apart. 
This creates a gap in the Earth's outer layer, which looks like a big valley called a Rift Valley. This whole process is a continental rift, and it's a big deal because it helps make new parts of the ocean floor. This special Rift Valley is in Iceland, inside a national park. It's about 23 to 33 feet wide in some spots, but it's not the same width all along its length. That's because lots of complicated things are happening under the ground. This valley formed because of something called tectonic activity, which means the Earth's plates are moving around. Specifically, it's linked to the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, a huge mountain range under the Atlantic Ocean. This ridge marks where the North American Plate and the Eurasian Plate meet. The North American and Eurasian Plates pulling apart have made the land between them sink gradually. This sinking makes a low part, like a big hole, and that's what we see as the Rift Valley. The edges of this valley rise steeply, making those cliffs you can see. What's neat about this place is that you can visit it. Unlike most rift valleys that are underwater, this one sticks out a bit above the sea. So people can come and see the Earth's changes up close. There's even a bridge called the Lucky Bridge that goes over the rift valley. It was built in 2002 and named after Leif Erikson, an Icelandic explorer. He sailed from Europe to North America 500 years before Columbus made his famous trip. Which of these widest cracks in the Earth did you find the most intriguing? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. And if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.